welcome back. In the previous episode, I took this, well, kind of done looking car and started pulling it apart. It had some minor flaws that were really annoying. It had a lot of bondo. Um, we got to the bottom of that. And I think it's time to start doing some rust repairs. Because um, underneath all that bondo was a lot of lovely rust. So let's go. As always, I just start off with the wire brush, um, especially when the car is going to be repainted anyways. So this is a quick and easy way to get uh, to the bottom of things um, without destroying everything and without sending the body out for sandblasting, stuff like that. So um, basically got a lot of the bondo done, uh, got that shit uh, taken off and you can see what we have to work with here besides a lot of uh, body filler is a few rusty patches um, there's a place here I think we need to replace other than that it's um, cracks in the paint um, over time this uh, all this bondo will separate it will dry down and it will start cracking like that so all that stuff needs to be dealt with Also on this side, it has a huge indentation. Um, when you apply body filler, you need to do it in layers, small layers, and this has been done in one chunk, I think. Then when it dries up, it'll look like that. Um, apart from that, it is actually not that bad so far. Um, let's dig deeper. And as you can see, um, repairs were done. I kind of hate when it's uh, the corners and stuff like that, that's rusty, so I like to do repairs on that, I get all the rust out. Um, this rear panel is not that bad actually. Um, up here we had two pieces that I replaced, and the rear corners in both sides, uh, this was the worst, so applied um, two layers of metal and spot welded it uh, back into place.
showing you a little progress. This is the amount of body filler you need. Um, nothing more than that. Just to cover the low spots. Not that huge layer that was on there. Um, this still needs a little work. Both sides and I'm not putting that much filler on. Just enough to cover up the low spots. Um, I want to put some filler on it just to have a look at uh, how everything flows. That's a much easier way to see all the lines and everything. So uh, cover up everything you don't want to get filler on and uh, just shoot a, a layer on there and see how it looks. And after applying uh, just a light coat of filler, uh, just gives you an idea of if you've been uh, sanding it down too much in places and not enough in other places. Um, everything gets gets more uniform than just looking at like the coloration and everything from when you're doing the repairs. So this is much easier to see what you're working with. Uh, And that being said, all this almost have to be taken uh, all the way back also because this is quite a, a thick layer compared to paint. This is just uh, to get some guidelines to know um, where you're at and then you work on from there. And after a little dry time, the filler is dry enough to start sanding on and to have a look at how it all flows. With the major repairs on the rear done, um, mostly just finishing off uh, left, we move on to the front. That was some job, uh, moving the, uh, the hood, fenders, front wing, um, front lights, stuff like that. But you really need to get everything off to have a look at what you're dealing with. Um, again, 
I see some rust here. Um, I don't know how to do this. We have to dig a little to find out. This side is, is pretty gone though, so... We'll have to see what we can do about that with this uh, cowl in place. Let's hope we can keep it there. Um, but otherwise, it actually looks pretty decent. Um, not that much rust in here. I was hoping for it to look like that when the inner uh, fender uh, is corroded or gone it will just accumulate water and just rust like mad so this is actually looking pretty good but we need to clean it up a bit to have a better look And after a quick clean with the wire brush, um, it gives you a much better idea of what you're dealing with. Um, I can see here this piece is still rusted out, so we need to do something about that. But this is the worst. I think we need to have it removed, um, but otherwise, this is just clean metal. So, good news on that part. This is uh, what we're looking at right now, my 71 Celica, uh, pretty much torn apart. See lots of parts here, just laying around. Everything just pulled apart, it's glass out, fenders, front. The last thing I need to do is to pull the doors and um, yeah, get it ready for paint. Just finishing off the last uh, metal work. This has been covered with some rust eater, just seeing uh, if it needs uh, any work. This I'm not particularly happy with, so I think I'm going to be cutting out um, some pieces, putting in some new metal, and it'll be good to go. Otherwise, it's actually pretty good uh, for a car that's 52 years old. This is just like, this is subtle, solid metal, there's no rust, nothing. Um, so it actually looks pretty good. I'm really happy about that. So the only problems it had was uh, at some point the A-pillars, uh, the entire roof actually has been cut off. I think it rolled at some time. Um, it did have a roll cage. I think it did some rallying, stuff like that. Um, so this car has uh, some heritage, story, I don't know what you want to call it. But the work replacing this roof and these A pillars was really, really rough and water had uh, seeped in between the gasket and the front window and everything was just soaking wet. Uh, even uh, standing 10 days in the garage before I pulled it apart, um, it was still really, really wet when I took out the, the gaskets and the front window. So everything's being redone, sealed up properly and um, yeah, should be good to go. In a short time, this was where they cut the C pillars. As you can see, there's no B pillars on this car. Um, really, really nice body lines. It's just like an old Mustang, something like that. Just a lot smaller. Um, doing a little bundle work here on some low spots. I suspect this has been changed at some point too, because this is sitting a little lower than the rest. So, a little work here to get this as perfect. And the paint wasn't really that good, so a few corrections. Other than that, a lot of pieces have been changed. This has all been cut out, this has all been cut out. This was cut out, replaced, um, new parts. This was also cut out and replaced. So yeah, just getting rid of all the rust, 
This had some sort of weird plug in it um, that you would normally just use for plugging out a, a, an existing uh, antenna hole. But the antenna hole was here and the plug was situated here. So the antenna hole was just filled with Bondo and then it started rusting in front of that. They just drilled a hole and put in a plug to cover the rust. <whistles> Great job. Other than that, you can see there's a uh, tin, bronze tin, I think, in these um, holes from where the cuts were made when they refitted this. Also up here, when they refitted the roof. So it's it's actually a pretty decent job. It was just the A-pillars that was really, really bad executed. So all that stuff have been cleared up now. Um, oh yeah, and these unoriginal Mustang door mounted mirrors they had put on uh, all the high spots have been uh, beaten down welded up welded shut and um, bonded over so this is going to be smooth as you know i put uh, my uh, mirrors on the fenders as it should be on this model so these are period correct uh, replicas of the exact mirrors that's what that was on the car it's not the original ones because they cost like a fortune um, and i need to get the wings done too because the wings, as you can see, have just been taken on and off and on and off so many times that this has just occurred. These are fiberglass wings, so they're not metal, can't rust. They've just been treated horribly. So, And when I'm going to be putting it back together, I'm going to be uh, spending a lot of time getting all the lines perfect, just like I did on my A86. So, um, yeah, let's go. I know I said that this was just solid metal, I guess I was hoping that it was, but in reality, this is just Bondo on top of some crusty rusty. So, I already started cutting out this corner. Um, I'm gonna leave as much as I can of this in the first place. Um, it's still gonna be replaced. Uh, all the rust is gonna be cut out but I need this for reference to where everything goes to have it at, at the right position because it's really hard to cut everything out and then have to mock everything back up. So leaving this in as much as I can and then I'll be cutting out all of this um, rust to see how far it extends and I'll be building back up this corner. Um, it doesn't look like it's the rails, the frame rails and everything just looks in really good shape. It is just this inner fender that is just horrible and they covered it up with Bondo and paint. Lots of Bondo and paint. So let's get all the brackets off and um, see what's underneath. Alright, I just let, let the dust settle and then let's have a look at what we're doing here. Alright, the uh, keep the front plate in place plan has been ditched, as you can see, because this is uh, a little bit too crusty for what I'm comfortable with leaving here, so this has to be cut out. Um, good news is front cross member, all that kind of stuff, all this stuff here was just actually covered with a Bondo. Um, I think it's because they changed a few plates here. Um, 
and they didn't want this seam they could just grind it down if they want to just apply a little bit of bondo not that 10 millimeter layer that was on there um so that's the good news the bad news is i have to rebuild this entire piece um all the way up so yeah not really paint prepping um right now <laughs>